Greetings, my friends. Kyle McCoy here at the Pixel Art Shop, where I've been very, very busy getting ready for New York Comic Con next month. And I've been making a lot of perler bead pieces, as always, but unfortunately, this hasn't left me a lot of time to make videos for you guys. So, I didn't want you to think I forgot about you. I thought I'd give you a little studio tour, show you what I'm up to. Thanks for joining me. Let's take a look around. Okay, some people ask me about my camera setup here, so I thought I'd give you a look at that. I know it can be tricky to get your camera right above your work table. I had to buy this fancy tripod that has an extra arm that extends here. Really nifty though, uh, I've been using it since day one. The camera attaches right here. Obviously it's not there at the moment because I'm holding it. And uh, currently on the work table here you can see we have lots of Nintendo sprites getting ready for Comic Con. I try to promote my original designs more than most stuff, but I won't lie, people love the Nintendo stuff. I always sell out of Mario's and Mega Man's and Link's and all that, so hey, sometimes you gotta give the people what they want. I'll have plenty of my own designs there too, as you can see I'm working on the House From Up project here. I'm sure I don't have to tell you guys, but this is such a tedious craft. I appreciate your patience when it takes me a few weeks to get a new project video out. You gotta remember, I'm always reducing hours and hours of work footage to just a few minutes for you guys, so as my channel grows and I get more subscribers, I want to make better and better videos. Here are my bead storage containers, really nifty, I got these at the container store. I have this extra one here for some of the more offbeat colors like glow in the dark here, uh, gold. Here's the clear beads, wow look how clear they are. Nah, I'm just kidding, here's the clear beads. Here's where I work on my patterns. The current work in progress, I'm redesigning my pattern for the cover of Action Comics number one, that's the first appearance of Superman. Really looking forward to finishing that up, making it in perler beads, releasing the pattern for you guys to make your own. I think it's gonna turn out really cool. Here I always write down when I'm working on a project. I like to see how long it takes me, and if I make the piece again, see if I can beat my previous time, like this Rick and Morty piece. That's a pretty popular piece of mine. If I bring this one around to conventions, it always sells. So I've made that a few times. The first time it took me about five hours, but now I've got that down to about three. Oh, my lucky decoder ring. I often feel like figuring out the perfect pattern is a lot like cracking a code. This is where I keep all the pieces I currently have waiting to be adopted. Some more fun Nintendo stuff for Comic-Con. Oh, here we have a Jaws piece that I'm working on. It's going to be really huge, uh, 24 by 36 inches, which is practically a movie theater poster. It's going to have the boat and everything. Jaws is very, very important to me for reasons I will get into in the official video. There's lots of other pieces here that are waiting to be mounted on canvas. I actually just ran out of my life loop paint, so these guys are waiting patiently for me to pick up some more. And here we have my mini beads, I should really find a better place to keep them. I've been in the middle of working on this mini beads video for like four months, I really need to finish that up. They are just so tiny and they take so long. Great detail though. Here's a bucket of perler beads. I'm not sure if I've told you guys this before, but I sometimes host uh, DIY perler bead events called the Make It and Take It. At the end of those, I take all the leftover beads and toss them into this bucket. I'll sort them all out one day, maybe. But for now, I can do this. So satisfying. There's a lot of dinosaur toys here. My wife is a big Jurassic Park fan. Here I have a world map where I put a pin in every place I've sent an original piece or commission slowly trying to cover the world in perler beads. You can see I've covered the northeast of America pretty well. Um, even got one in Hawaii there. None in Alaska though. Hey, if you're in Alaska, commission me to do something for you, will ya? I need to put a pin in there. There's one in Argentina. I got some in Europe, even in the Middle East here. And Australia. Not bad. Oh, this is kind of fun. Uh, it's my original design for Project Springfield. For those who don't know, I made a 40 square foot mural of the Simpsons hometown. I carried this piece of paper around in my wallet for two years. I would get it out when I was on the subway or something and just kind of work on it in my head. Wow, that was like eight years ago now. It's crazy. What are you doing? An unscripted video? Just walking around holding the camera? How lazy is oh, that? that's Dark McCoy. He hates everything. This is the internet. Hating stuff is cool! Ignore him. He lives in my closet. Moving on. 
And of course, here's the big wall of perler beads I use as my background. My many cans of paint. No light blue, sadly. Sorry, Duck Hot Dog. We'll get it soon. Uh, in this drawer, keep lots of ironing paper and spare pegboards. Nothing too interesting. But in this drawer, I have a ton of perler bead pieces that I haven't used in anything yet. Um, there's some Futurama mini picks. I've been working on that one for a while. Lots of characters in Futurama. There's the Simpsons house here. I just can't seem to stop paying tribute to Springfield. I made these planet designs a few months ago. Thinking about doing a planetary coaster set, or maybe a, like a mobile, I don't know. If you're ever worried I'm slowing down because I'm running out of ideas or something, definitely not, never fear. Uh, you know how when you download something, and it can download pretty quick, but if you're downloading 10 things at once, they all download slower, and then everything's done all at once, and that's great. But that's how my brain works. I'm, I'm always working on 10 projects at the same time, so it takes a while, but once everything is done, I'll have 10 new projects to unveil, as opposed to working on one at a time. That's why I like to do those themed weeks sometimes, because I wrap up several projects at the same time. I keep meaning to use these shaped pegboards for something. Hmm. I'm looking to catch up on some things technology-wise, uh, like getting an Instagram page at last, or uh, looking into doing a live stream or Twitch thing, maybe start a Patreon page, I don't know, what do you guys think? Honestly, I'm pretty new to all of this, so I would really value your thoughts below. Uh, some upcoming videos include the Jaws one that I mentioned earlier, we're going to take an in-depth look at Perler's color palette, and we're going to do some experiments with bead character. You'll see what I mean when we get there. I'd really like to do a video of the pixel art shop at Comic-Con. Comic-Con is just, it's always so busy. I'm always talking to so many people, which is great. Don't get me wrong, but uh, we'll see if it happens. I hope so. And that's about it, my friends. Thanks for watching. I'll leave you some links here to some of my favorite projects. Hope you enjoy. And this is my keyboard that I try to learn how to play at least once a year. Dang it. Yeah, maybe next year.